I am Anil Kumar and in this particular video I am going to discuss three multiple choice questions on transformation of polynomials. I hope that will give you a good review on understanding this particular topic. So first I will read the questions and then in the later half I will answer. My request is that you can always pause your video, answer the question and then check your solution with mine. Here is the first one. The graph of quartic function is given below. Select the best equation which describes it. So we are given four options. Here is the graph of the quartic function. Have a good look at it. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then move on to watch the video. Now here is the second multiple choice question on polynomials transformation. The question is the graph of function y equals to x cube is compressed horizontally by a factor of half reflected on the y axis and translated 3 units left and 2 units down. If y equals to x cube passes through the point 2 8 list the coordinates of its image on the transformed function. So we have given you five choices 1 minus 10, 1 minus 6, minus 2 minus 10, 4 minus 6 and minus 4 6. You can again pause the video, answer and then look into my solution right. Here is the third and the last one from this set on transformations multiple choice questions. Third question is if the graph of function y equals to x cube is compressed horizontally by a factor of half stretched vertically by a factor of 3 and translated 5 units left and 2 units down an equation for the graph of the transform function is 4 equations are given to you do the needful to make correct selection. Okay, so I hope you got these answers. Now it's time to check them. So let's go back to the very first question and then see how to answer such questions. There we go. So this is the first one. Here we're talking about graph of a quadratic function which is given here it is of course transformed and we have to match the equation with the graph. Now whenever you have a graph like this things which you should make a note of is transformation perfect. So we do have a vertical transformation it is vertical reflection is that okay and then it is also because x cube x to the power of 4 graph will be kind of like this. Let me sketch that graph also. So, so let's say this is 1, 1. Okay. So we are working on a graph which is kind of approximately, right? x to the power of 4. So if you compare with this, what you realize is that it has been reflected vertically, right? And it has been translated four units up, one unit left. So it is four up, one left. Most difficult part is the stretch part. You could always find the stretch from the vertex. If I move one unit to the right, in that case we come down three units, one, two and three. Do you see that? So that gives you a of 3. So vertically stretched by a factor of 3. So vertically stretched by 3 times. Is it okay? Factor of 3. So that means we are looking at a transformation of this quadratic function which should be kind of like this minus 3, right? Minus 3 for reflection on the x axis and stretch by 3 x. Moving one unit left means plus one to the power of four and going four steps up 
means plus 4. So that is the kind of equation which is the answer for the transform function. So if you try to match it, this 4 has been written first. 4 minus 3, so we are looking for 4 minus 3. So that matches, is it okay? So option C is the correct option, right? Let's move on to the next one where we are talking about, let's see, transformation again, yes, of course. The graph of the function y equals to x cube is compressed horizontally by a factor of half, right? So first thing is horizontally compressed. So in such questions, what we have to do is, we have to, okay, let me read this question once again. The graph of a function y equals to x cubed Okay, the question here is, the graph of the function y equals to x cube is compressed horizontally by a factor of half reflected on y-axis and translated three units left and two units down. If y equals to x cube passes through the point 2, 8, list the coordinates of its image on the transform function. So we are given original point, let's say we are given x0 and y0 as original point. We need to find the image, right? We need to find the image. So what you can do is, you can directly write down the image points without getting into any other details. Read and then do it. It says, the graph of y equals to x cube is compressed horizontally by a factor of half. So horizontally by a factor of half affects x value. So I'll write this is half of x0, right? Reflected on y-axis, so this y-axis means what? I mean, let's go back to the graph, for example. Okay, let's go back to the graph. Let us say this is x cube function, is it okay? Now, if I reflect it on y-axis, this is my y-axis. In that case, these points come that side. Do you see that? So what really happens at this stage, the x values become negative, perfect, so this becomes negative. Reflected on y-axis and translated three units left. If I move three units left, that means I am trying to take away three from x value. Two units down, so that is from the y value. So we'll do comma y minus two. Does it make sense to you? So that is the transformation. Is it okay? Now let's substitute the points given to us. So we begin with 2, 8, right? This is 2 and 8. Half of 2 with minus sign gives me, let, let's write like this. So if I substitute 2 here, what do I get? I get half times 2 minus 3, that becomes my x point, right? The y value is y minus 2, that is 8 minus 2. Is it okay? So now we can do the calculation. 8 minus 2 is 6. Half of 2 is minus 1. Minus 1 minus 3 is minus 4. So minus 4, 6 is the right answer, which is option E, right? There are many ways to do it. You could write equation, transform function equation, do it. But this is probably the best way and the fastest way to do it. I hope you understand how to find the image points from transformations given. Now let's move on to the last question. Multiple choice on polynomials transformation. The question here is, the graph of function y equals to x cube is compressed horizontally by a factor of half, stretched vertically by a factor of three, and translated five units left and two units down. An equation for the graph of the transformed function is one of these. Now in this set, I have not really given you the transformed function equation, but solve most of the questions, right? Generally, we write the equation like minus, uh, I shouldn't write minus, let's write a positive, right? Times k x minus p, right? 
plus q. Since we are talking cubic function, this will be q. So this is a general equation. Now as you read, you can write down all the values. The graph of this function is compressed horizontally by a factor of 2. That means k is 2. Is it okay? By a factor of half, right? So it is k is 1 over that, so it is 2. Stretched vertically by a factor of 3. So that means this is 3 for us. And translated, 2 units left, 2 units left means p is uh, I'm reading it out and translated 5 units left minus 5 and 2 units down that means this is minus 2 correct an equation of the graph of the transfer function is is this right so let's write down the equation which is y equals to 3 times k is 2 x minus and minus becomes plus 5 whole q minus 2 let's try to match this so we have uh, 3 is in all of them minus 2 is in all of them so let's look into inside function 2 times within bracket x plus 5 x minus 5 this okay uh, this also doesn't really match so they have actually opened the bracket so let me open the bracket and rewrite so it is 3 2 times x is 2x plus 2 times 5 is 10. Do you see that? Minus 2. Does it match now? Whole cube, of course. So it matches with C. Do you see that? C is the right answer. Perfect. If you see from here, we could factor 2, right? So whenever you're describing the horizontal transformation, you need to factor. So we get 2, x plus 5, whole cube, minus 2. That is the right answer. So when you're working with transformations, always for the inside function, factor out the k factor. And then you'll get the right value for horizontal translations also. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope this video helps you to recap everything about transformations. These transformations could be applied to any function. We just took polynomials. Uh, since they are simpler to work with. And I hope it helped you to understand. Feel free to write your comments and share my videos. Thank you and all the best.